Here we are again. 54 degrees. Saturday. 27 outside, 91% inside of humidity. Are you entertained yet? Uh, let's not do a third party match. Okay, let the festivities begin. This is what I've been doing. Before I get beard off, because a lot of times I forget. Does anybody know if it's possible to sharpen these step drills? Because they want to get to a point, you know, that you have a hard time getting through it. Okay, um, this is what I've been doing today. Y'all should have known this was coming. It's nice to have a eight foot handbrake. That's all I can say. I used to try to bend that stuff without it, and it doesn't work too great. Anyway, had to cut little slots of ram down in here. To get the fit, it's in rough. There you go. Voila. Slide it on. There you go. Okay. This one is going to be. This is the crown. Don't you love the backdrop light? Anyway. Oh my God. I turned this into. Uh, a, this is going to be my everyday workbench. And then when I tape cars off. I used to hook it to that and it sucks because then I have to walk all the way over there. So I hooked it up on this and it's temporarily I can take it down. I don't like it when it moves. See how it moves but I don't want it to lift up. So what I did is she snuck in the corner there moved this little rascal. She's got a little bolt right down there welded in with a little latch. There you go. One and done. Huh? One and done. Oh let's focus out brah. Okay, it's hard to do anything with one hand. Okay, and then I made this little thing here today. That was an afterthought. It's going to double as 2-2. Two -two. It's got a magnet in it. This used to be a wire cover, polar outer, cord winder thing that broke. I glued a magnet on it. So then I can throw my little parts or whatever I'm working on in there. And I won't lose them. And in the meanwhile... There you go. Ashtray holder too. Okay. And then I realized if I take the tray out of this one, the California IA one, I can actually put my uh, Bondo and stuff in here. Keep it all together. I just like stuff all together. Then I felt, I realized I had some room. Let me turn some light on for you. There you go. That's a handle with a hole. And I had to make sure it cleared everything, my mud hog. And I built this little tray in here. And then my uh, Hudson airboards will set down in there underneath that. Okay. And then on the back, like I said, I want everything together. So I took a little hinge of ramming down here. And this piece of metal right here was left over from uh, this hide-a-bed creation. And then I should be able to just pull this out. There you go. Everything has its own little place. I like that. I don't like hunting around, walking, because I'm getting old. <clears throat> now people have said, I've heard people say all through my life, it's the journey, not the destination. Really? I have a hard time believing that because this is me. I guess some people feel that they got all the time in the world. I don't. 
So it's the destination. I'm trying to get stuff done. Maybe it should be the journey, but it ain't here. Okay, what else we got on the festivities today? I think that pretty much covers everything, don't it? Yeah. It's gonna be a short motherfucking video, ain't it? Well, I got some uh, words of wisdom, rant something. Oh, I wanted to say to Robinson Auto, thank you for the toolbox. And he sent two $10 bills for the auction for the toolbox. I'll show you in a minute that I ain't done. Funny thing is, what I like the most is this little metal box that was in it. I like things that are practical. See, I take these yogurt things. I eat my share of yogi. Yogurt, and I put oil in it <clears throat> so I can dip my um, drill bits in them so they don't burn up. And every time I leave this laying around, every time I will knock it over. No matter where I put it in this garage, it gets knocked over. So I'm hoping that I put it in this own little case. At least when I'm done with it and it's laying around, if it gets knocked over, at least the oil will be contained. Get back to that in a minute. There is a 400 small block on a skid that I made. And them little tabs will stop that motor from flipping when it gets shipped. Plus I put three nails in each 2x4. Plus, what I did is I took an inch by probably an eighth inch band and I banded it up so she ain't moving. Okay, she's secure. It is 230 pounds. It is 31 inches long. And the heater's going off. It is, what does that say? 22 inches wide. Something. Yeah, I think it's 22 and then, uh, 20 inches tall. Let me go on to see if that's 22 wide. I mean, I can't read my own writing. That's pretty pitiful. Yeah, that's 22 wide. If this gets damaged in shipping, all I got to say is you picked the wrong shipper. Because this is secure. That right there, Robson Auto put two tens in for the drawing. When will it be done? When it gets done. It's getting real close. Let me go on and turn the heat. I'll just shut it off right here. There we go. Winter Wonderland. Getting close. <clears throat> Ain't gonna make it in the time frame that I wanted to. I wanted to get it in by uh, Christmas. That's next Tuesday. Can't make it happen. Because I have to do this, and I have to do this. I don't have to, I want to. It'll make my life easier when I bring this in. And this is my workbench. Pretty durable. I made that too. This is what I bring in the garage when I'm working on something major. Anyway. Lovely, huh? 
Man, I got a frog in my throat. <coughs> there you go. Maybe it jumped out. I don't know. What do you guys want? Words of wisdom or a rant? You don't want to shut the light off on this one. Maybe I can get the frog out of my throat. Commercial break. I gotta keep on learning it. Then sooner or later in my life I get tired of trying to learn the same fucking thing. So it's about time to make this register. Anyway, let's do the mood indicator light. Did tell you where the shoe's at? Blue. Whatever that means. So I'm gonna explain to you. Robinson Auto. He said uh, he's gonna send me that toolbox. Anything I get as a gift or trade, I, I get because I want it. This is what I've learned. I've said it before. Sometimes when you get stuff, it's gone. You can't do nothing about it. Okay? I made a trade for that. He wanted to send it for free, told him no. I had to get right back to my motherfucking basics. Because this is what I've learned real recently. Sometimes when people give you stuff, there's a string hooked to it. Sometimes it's invisible, but it's still a string. So I'm back to pay as I go, so I will never owe. I'll give you an example. Go on and spit it out. Because this is what happens when somebody does something good for you out of the goodness of heart. But sometimes it ain't out of the goodness of heart because they want something in the long run. And they usually call you and they feel you owe them when the worst possible fucking time in your life that you got your own shit to do. Anyway, I'm going to tell you this real motherfucking story because it's really fucking true. I ain't even gonna change the names on this one. This dude named Joe. Make a long story short. I kinda know Joe a little bit. You guys watched all my old videos way back in the day. I made a mirror for him. Cause his little brother died. Man, I was compelled to make him a mirror. I ain't want nothing. Just thought I was supposed to. Anyway, no strength. Not even invisible. As time went by, I don't know, maybe a year or two or something, talking to him. He said he works at Lowell's and he could give me uh, a discount if I buy all my stuff at Lowell's. I was planning on buying it all at Menards because they got better prices, but I thought, hey, Lowell's is closer and he's willing to give me a discount. Cool. Okay. So he saved me money. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. A couple weeks after that, he got aluminum Water. I don't have aluminum water. And he said he would like to, I guess he'd like to hook it up to my argon gas. I don't even know if you use argon, CO2, whatever the fuck chalk. That would look well aluminum. But anyway, he calls and says he wants to bring it over because he's got some aluminum stuff he wants on his bike. Okay, I feel that he did me right. Okay. So, I pulled the tank off the welder. Lo and behold, it didn't show. Okay, fucking beautiful. Maybe a week or two later, I don't know. Calls and does it again. I pulled the fucking tank off. Again. Lo and behold, he don't fucking show. Then he calls the third time. The same ordeal. I don't pull the motherfucking tank off this time. Anyway, it gets worse. Because he saved me money at Lowell's. Out of goodness of his heart. But no sweat off his ass. No, he didn't have to do it. Anyway. He wanted me to quote his truck, so I quoted his truck. He don't like the price. Okay, that's fine. 
Now, he wants to borrow my stud gun. Basically, he wants to do all the material, do all the work, and have me shoot it. Time the flock out. Now, hold up. Loan my tools out? And you already did the jack-jack game with my welding tank twice? Fuck it. I don't ask. See, there was a string. Sometimes you don't see the string. I'm not saying each and every time there's a string. Tied. But sometimes there is. You better put your motherfucking spectacles on. And look real close. That's what I've learned. Take for what it's worth. Peace of mind. Peace of property. Peace with oneself. Internal peace. Piece of the action. Piece of the puzzle. Piece of the pizza. Piece of pussy. Piece of corn dog. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. Let me see if I got anything. Let me maybe I can leave this on a puzzle. No, I don't know. Another thing I learned, just spitting this shit out. See, my dad, he didn't like to customize stuff. I remember when I cut a hole in my Corvette hood for that street school. He said he wouldn't do it. I respect his opinion, but I did it anyway. I'm sure he would tell me, because this is where my dad was. At least my dad spit it out. He said what he wanted to say. He didn't bullshit. He'd probably tell me, I don't know, boy. I don't know if I would have cut all that stuff up. Yeah, it's a risk. I guess. I don't look at it as a risk. I look at it as what I want. Not what someone else wants. I don't like things personalized. Now, if this was a car, you try to personalize it, and it's time to sell it. No, you got a you got a problem because your market's limited. Maybe that's what my dad was saying. I don't know, but I believe it was. I remember my old man. God rest his soul. Think about him a lot, but anyway, I get in the mood sometimes, I know it's a motherfucking shocker. And I will get on my ass. I don't know why. Trying to help me, I know. My dad would always say, let the boy be. Let the boy be. My mom would still try to help me. My dad would say, let the boy be. Basically, my dad knew me. Basically, he was saying, just let the boy work it out. The boy is going to do what he wants to do. The moral of the story is, I don't know, let's fast forward. At least my dad said what he wanted to say. I didn't have to guess. You tell me if he didn't like something. Okay. Respected him, but uh, still mine. I wish everybody would take off the fucking mask so I can see who's who. Yeah. Take it for what it's worth, throw it in the garbage can. It don't matter to me. Anyway, enjoy your evening. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it right the fuck and there.